Hey there, Cutie and Cosplay here with another video. Today's video is actually going to be a little bit more of a rant. I just kind of want to talk about something that it's bothered me for quite some time, just as long as I can remember. Um, and I'm sure it's probably something, you know, if you're if you consider yourself a gamer, it's probably something you've heard once or twice before as well. And that is why is it okay? to say that video games are a waste of time. So growing up, I'd hear this a lot in school, and even now, I'll hear it sometimes from people that don't play games at all. You know, I'll see a YouTube video or maybe a, a tweet that says something like, why do guys play games and waste their time? But the thing that bothers me about saying that is just the hypocrisy of it. Like it's it's okay to spend your time playing with a with a just a ball. It's okay to just throw that around. It's okay to watch a show. It's okay to read a book. That's totally fine. But for some reason, once you pull this out, you're wasting your time. But the thing that's frustrating is that all of those things I just mentioned waste our time. They take time out of our day. That's kind of just unfortunately the name of the game when it comes to our existence is how do you want to fill the time that you have on this earth. And for some reason out of all the time wasters that we have come up with in our lives, the only one that's really considered bad is video games. And one of the worst defenses that I have heard from this, I do not want to hear it again, is that it's because video games keep you from making money. Really? Are we sure about that? Because I think we should go consult all those Twitch streamers that make hundreds of thousands yearly, or competitive players that just make their living off of playing games. And I'm not saying that I, I will make a ton of money from playing games that is unfortunately not my reality, but I am saying what's the difference between if I stay indoors reading a book or if I'm staying inside playing Shenmue? Like why is one considered okay and the other is considered a bad waste of time? At the end of the day, reading a book or playing a video game, both of those things take time to get through and in my case, both of those things make me happy. So I really see neither of them as a waste of time. And I'm sorry, but if I only have like 16 hours in a day-ish, give or take, I really do not want to be spending all of those 16 hours slaving away at a job. That is something that I hear a lot too. I will see crazy things like someone will post games that they enjoy playing and then someone else will comment to them saying that if you have free time, then you could be making more money if you had a second or another job to fill up that time. And to me, that is just insanely ridiculous. Honestly, just what is the point in living if it is just work, sleep, eat, repeat for seven days a week? Like, to me, that is just not an enjoyable life. And if somebody did want to fill, like, one or two hours with what is, in my opinion, the greatest way to experience entertainment, then like, why not let them? Why should they be shamed for that, that, you know? And I will say for this rant, I feel like I'm mostly talking about men here because I feel like male gamers are the ones who this sentiment is targeted at the most, that they're wasting their time playing games. Um, because it just upsets me to see, to see men and women call male gamers losers for playing games. It just really confuses me because like, why? What, what makes their entertainment so much better that they can condescend to these people just having a hobby? I mean, there are literally grown adults that can just kick a ball back and forth like children do and they can spend thousands of hours doing that, and that's okay. And I am sorry 
to sports fans here. I'm not trying to insult your hobby, but I'm just pointing out that kicking a ball back and forth is so simple but so rewarded and it's kind of seen as like a cool thing to do whereas if you pick up a controller that makes you a child and you're wasting your time doing that it just confuses me honestly i'm just i'm tired of video games being attacked for everything it's really it's been happening since the 80s you know like violent crimes rude behavior, school dropouts, things like that, you know, it's just, it's all video games fault. It's the, the effect they have on children. You know, it's almost like we don't have violent movies, disturbing books, vulgar music, but no, none of that gets blamed. Just poor video games has been chosen as the scapegoat to place all the all the problems on. And I will say yes, there are bad games that could definitely have negative effects on children. Sure, I'll concede that. Um, but I do think it's a really fair point that the internet is far worse than any video game. You can literally see the most disturbing things that human beings are capable of, or you can find sexually explicit content on your phone in seconds and yet that is not media's favorite thing to pick pick on that's not like their first go-to thing and not their first thought that you know maybe maybe children shouldn't have phones or maybe children shouldn't have unrestricted internet access you know things like that no it's cuz that it's cuz that kid played grand theft auto and one more little topic to touch upon before I end this little rant. Um, you know, it's not just the little people that are going around looking down on games. It just, it blows my mind the amount of industries that look down on the gaming industry itself. Just compare the amount of money that gaming makes versus music, movies, books, and comics. It just, it blows them all away. And in spite of this, the gaming industry is just treated like this ugly stepchild. And you know, we're seeing this right now in the movie industry with how they'll they'll grab the rights to a video game and they'll just do whatever they want with it because it's just a dumb video game, right? Who cares if that franchise has millions of fans? Who cares if that video game has already made millions more than our movies? I just get this idea that they feel like we are Hollywood and we are the best. You know, it's just upsetting to see film producers and directors and even actors in some cases do an interview about that and they're just like, yeah, we didn't, we didn't check out any of the source material, we just wanted to do our own thing. And it's like, at that point, why did you want the rights to that? Just, you know, what's the point of getting this if you're not even gonna provide any, like, lore-accurate content or make a character look like they actually, actually look? You know, it's like, at that point, just try and make something new. But you know why they do that is because they just wanna, they wanna attempt to piggyback off of the success of this game, this franchise, but you know, not give any of the credit or not. They just want the name. And it's so annoying to me, it's so frustrating. All right, and that concludes my little rant. Um, yeah, like I mentioned, it's just, it's been something that has bothered me for quite some time that video games alone would be considered this waste of time when our entire existence is based upon filling up our time. <laughs> Anyway, let me know in the comments if you guys have ever experienced this for yourself. Maybe you've had, you know, it always feels like those family members are the ones coming after your video game hobby. Um, or anything like that, just friends at school in the past. That's a kind of common one too. If you've ever experienced this or seen it for yourself, um, or just, you know, even seen it in the media or 
or you know, your thoughts on this in general too. You can share that in the comments, I read them all. And yeah, thank you so much for wasting your time on my video today. Thank you, I appreciate it. And I hope that I'll see you in the next video. Bye.